Hi YouTube and welcome to um, a common barn update. Um, I'm starting off at the uh, sign here just to show you this uh, this sticker I picked up at the gala um, that a uh, few of you watched the videos for. Um, I don't know if I showed it my last one um, but I really like it so I'm just starting off here so uh, I don't spoil uh, what's been going on down there. Um, <clears throat> right this uh, this update um, I've been changing a few things um, on Common Barn. Um, I get like this sometimes, you know, I want to mix it up a bit and add something different. Um, but uh, I'll show you the little things first before I get to the main changes. Um, now in my last, uh, one of my last vids, um, I told you that the shelf had fallen down. Well, it has up there. Um, the storage and stock shelf had fallen down. Um, and that I had an idea for that wood um, that was uh, being used up there and the idea was um, for this um, I've added a side scene to the layout um, I've wanted one of these for a while just to help with the um, the background and you know the realistic look of it um, I haven't kept this one square like the back scene I've added contours in it just to try and follow the shape of the hill um, it's got the same colour as the back scene um, and I think it's alright um, you know like I say it gives something there instead of having nothing there um, but you know let me know what you think of it I had to take down some of the cliff side from behind there to fit it um, but yeah I think it looks alright especially when you're doing low shots now it looks like there's uh, you know, the sky behind there and not just wall um, so yeah, let me know what you think of that, uh, that side scene. Um, I'll just move along the layout. Um, down here, um, I've just added a little private angling sign at the back of there. Um, just a little something for this pond area. Um, I got a load of signs a while ago, years ago. Um, I found them knocking about, so I've put that one in there. Now uh, I've actually got some water for it. Um, moving along, um, I've started populating this brake van. Um, now, ooh, don't try to give too much away here. Um, on Common Barn, um, I'm now running uh, brake van rides. Um, just to go with the new theme. Uh, but more, it'll probably come more clear, um, you know, when you see the rest of it and why. Um, so yes, yeah, so I've been populating this. Still need to put a few more figures in there, um, and it's only the first brake van I've started populating the weathered uh, toad. Um, but yeah, weathered uh, brake van ride at the minute. Just one brake van. Um, I'll just dodge the station area to show you some other little bits down here. Um, now I'm sure most of you know that it's the Tour de France. And you'll have seen little yellow bikes all over the shop, especially if you live in uh, anywhere on the route, like I am in Haworth. Um, so I just thought for a laugh, <laughs> um, the Tour de France can pass through Common Barn. Um, so we've got a little yellow bike just there below the road sign. Um, what else? This little yellow Ford Fiesta down here. You haven't seen that before. It's in, uh, a new one for the layout. Um, and then I suppose really I better move you on to the big uh, the bigger change and I'll just start above here before you see anything um, I'm not overly sure why I've made these changes um, I was just feeling a little I don't know, just wanting to do something different um, and really to accommodate the, um, the variety of stock that I use and um, so the plan has been to turn Common Barn into more of a preserved line, preserved railway. <coughs> um, before it was just a bit of a, a rundown terminus, um, just what I was just running things on that I liked. Um, but I've just decided to give it more of a, you know, more of an actual, more of an actual purpose. So I've turned it into a bit of a preserved station terminus now instead. Um, well, I best pen back, pan back and uh, show you. So here we are. This is now common, uh, common barn. 
Now, at first glance, it doesn't look overly different. Um, but hopefully, once I uh, go through it all, you'll be able to notice the changes more. Um, first things first, the canopy. Um, this was a rusty brown, um, mucky glazed winding. Sorry, mucky glazing. Uh, you know the windows across the top. Um, it's now maroon, BR maroon, um, and I've replaced some nice clear, well kept up to uh, glazing. Um, the struts underneath the supports have just been given a spruce up back into a nice silver. The light's still up there. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, that's the biggest uh, biggest difference. Um, keeping on the platform, the bins have gone to black. They were um, red, so they've gone to black just to keep uh, you know a bit more smart. Um, new station signs, um, the ones I don't want a bit too modern, a bit too um, you know. Yeah, modern for um, a preserved railway. So I've got these custom made ones off eBay, only a pound summit. Um, again in the maroon, uh, just to tie it all in nicely, which I think it does. Um, I've added a white line along the edge, edge of the platform and the flower tubs have uh, come back. I've had these out before. Um, yeah. I've never had a white line, so I've just thought I'd add that. Um, and then across the back of the platform, you'll be able to see this fencing. Um, now this goes all the way across the back. It starts here, right in front of another criminal act sign that I've added. Um, starts here, and it goes all the way along the back with the advertisings on. Um, right down to the side to uh, to some overgrowth that I've added. Um, now this was basically inspired by the Worth Valley Railway um, I'm not sure it's at a couple of stations they have fencing along the back of platforms you know with some with the yards behind um, so I thought well I'll just keep this side as a passenger passenger services and then the other side I can uh, just keep some work trains and things in um, I think some ratio fencing just painted it brown and I've added some of those enamel signs that we we pick up from all over um, and I really, really like the look it gives when there's um, a local behind. I'll just put this populated rate on behind to give you an idea. Just gives like a bit of a secretive, you know, let's have a sneak peek over the fence kind of like look. Just see what's you know going on behind there. So yeah, let me know what you think. Well, I really like it. I'm really, really happy. Uh, let me know if you think that fence should have been maroon as well. I'm liking it in brown, but you never know. Maroon might have been a, a better option. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, and then the other thing you may notice is the bunting across the back. Um, this goes just between the telegraph poles. There's the man there who was painting the old station canopy, putting the bunting up. Um, and all that is, um, I tied some cotton around the post, fed it along to the second, wrapped it round and tied it up to the third. Um, and then the flags, I individually cut each one of those out, the five millimetres, um, and that was a real pain. And then I've just um, hung them up with a bit of PVA. Um, but I think it brings a nice, you know, nice look to it, celebrating a preserved railway opening. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's it. Come on, barn has now changed into a preserving line. But yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I've added trees here. Um, down the back on the embankment I've added shrubbery and a lot of foxgloves. I was doing um, the station name in white stones like you do see on some railways um, but it, it that wasn't happening, it wasn't quite a plan um, so I scrapped it for now and I've just made some made up some foxgloves and added those down there in the shrubbery um, just to add to that side's, uh, that side's overgrowth um, and that's about it really, um, so you know, let me know what you think, um, I'm liking it at the minute now, um, just giving it you know, a bit more of a purpose, um, but yeah, let me know what you think of it, I'd, uh, I love your comments, so keep them coming, um, and if I get this uploaded before this weekend, everybody enjoy the Tour de France if you're going to watch, 
I know there's a few people uh, might catch it going through common bound <laughs> um, so yeah anyway let me know what you think and um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next update all right bye bye